Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain how to calculate center of gravity and eye shape. It's not a proper eye beam, you know, it's not a symmetrical, but I would say it's something. It can be symmetric, symmetrical, but it's not uh, a proper eye beam where we don't have the other end equal to the top end. I mean, bottom end is not equal to the top end. Okay, let's get started. First of all, what we do, we have to divide this all section into three parts. <clears throat> Part 1, this is 1, this is 2, and this is 3. Okay. So what we do, we will calculate area 1, area 2, area 3, then x1, x2, x3, y1, y2, y3. At the end, we will calculate x bar, y bar to get that center of gravitational point where our section can get in the state of equilibrium. Okay. So first of all, area 1, which is B multiplied by D. So 20 multiplied by 10 is equal to 200 square centimeter. Then we have x1. x1 is always from here to there is 5. We have, so this is from here to there, it's 5 centimeter. So it will be 5 plus 20 divided by 2 is going to be 15 centimeter. We have y1 which is 10 divided by 2 is going to be 5 centimeter. Okay, so this is our A1, X1, Y1 for section, I mean for part 1, diagram 1. So now we have area 2, which is this uh, diagram or this section. So it will be B multiplied by D, which is going to be 30 multiplied by 10 is equal to 300 square centimeter. We have X2 x2 is going to be from here to there in the middle of the section so from here to there is 5 and then again we have 10 which is going to be will be 10 plus 10 divided by 2 the thickness of this is 10 which is 10 divided by 2 and from here from red line to this green line is a 10 centimeter so it is going to be 15 centimeter again now we have y2 y2 we have to calculate from bottom red line so which is 10 plus 30 divided by 2 is going to be 25 centimeter okay so now this is the calculation for section 2 now we have section 3 which is area 3 is going to be b multiplied by t d since everything is in triangle so we call we use triangle formula b multiplied by d which is 30 multiplied by 10 is equal to 300 square centimeter we have x3 x3 is going to be 30 divided by 2 is going to be 15 centimeter we have y3 y3 we have to start counting the distance from bottom red line to the middle of section 3 so it's going to be 10 plus 30 plus 10 divided by 2 is going to be again uh, 40 not again is going to be 45 centimeter okay so now we have calculated area 1 area 2 area 3 x1 x2 x3 y1 y2 y3 now we have to put this in formula to get x bar okay what is the formula for x bar x bar is going to be a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus a3 x3 divided by a1 plus a2 plus a3 okay now we just have to plug the number into the formula which is 200 multiplied by 15 plus 300 multiplied by 15 again plus 300 multiplied by 15 divided by 200 plus 300 plus 300 okay so the x bar is going to be 15 centimeter okay so now we have to calculate y bar okay y bar is going to be a1 y1 plus a2 y2 plus a3 y3 divided by a1 plus a2 plus a3 okay you just have to put the numbers in 200 multiply by 5 plus 300 multiply by 25 plus 300 multiplied by 45 
divided by 800. So 3 plus 3, 600 plus 2, 800. So rather than putting each number separately, I just added all the areas together and divided, just wrote it down here. So the Y bar is going to be 27.5 centimeter. Okay. Now we have to travel from bottom red uh, red line to upwards 25.7 uh, 27.5 and from left red line to the center of the mid uh, section 2 by 15 centimeters so this is going to be a point where our section will be in the state of equilibrium okay so this is going to be i will just give a name it will be 15 comma 27.5 so this is our center of gravity for this section. That's it for today. Thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Mm -hmm.